reading from Psalms 105. And give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name and make known his deeds among the people. The Lord means for us to shout his praise loudly, without shame or fear, for all that he has done for us. And to have faith that he will protect us. Thank you. Thank you so much. church again, haven't you? This is the last time I'm going to tell you. Using the Lord for your own illegitimate gain is blasphemy. You will never step foot near that church again unless you're going to serve. You hear me? Yes, sir. If your mother was still alive to see you now. sorry now. I understand.
Holy Ghost comes in. That's all right. That's all right. Let him use you. Then Jesus stood up in front of his disciples and he said, if anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself. Take up his cross and follow me. Jesus didn't say, follow y'all. He said, follow me. Living Waters, Memphis. 
ministry. Yes. The yes. Bishop yes. Jacob. Yes. Thank God for the bishop. Today, Living Waters Ministry celebrates five years under the leadership of Bishop Calvin Jacobs. And in those five years, New Orleans' largest ministry has become a multi-million dollar worldwide phenomenon with radio and television programs, fundraisers, and millions of dollars donated back into the community. And Bishop Jacobs, a beacon of faith for millions around the world. Representatives of the bishop say he'll take his much deserved day off, celebrating with friends and family. Say, Kev, come on, man. I wouldn't miss this for the world. For the world, man. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Be careful with those friends. Come on, Kev. You know, careful is my middle name. <laughs> I'm still quoting our boy Paul. No doubt. Hey, man, how is Paul? Well, I heard he got out of jail a few years ago. Oh, man. Doing pretty good. Man, those were some times. Hmm. Uh, well, we were tight as jams back in the day, weren't we? Yes, we were. <laughs> but enough of that. This is your moment. So come on, speech, give it up. Come on, speech. All right, all right, all right, all right. It's okay. I wasn't prepared to make a speech. You know, my man Tom, you know, we go way back and put me on the spot. Uh, but first, we just want to give glory and honor to God for bringing us all here. Amen. 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 And I can't begin to describe the joy that I've felt over the last five years with all of our accomplishments. So you all should be very proud of yourselves. Amen. 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 We have been able to spread God's light and God's power throughout the whole world. Amen. Yes. Right Amen. here in our ministry. Yes. So you all should be really proud of it. In fact, give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> what I would like to do is toast. Toast, first of all, to God. Yes. Yes. But to all of our accomplishments over the last five years and those accomplishments that are yet to come. Amen. And we want to thank God for the opportunity yeah. to Amen. spread his word. Amen. 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 First, you called this meeting. You want to tell us what's going on? Bishop, it's not good. It's not good at all. Is the property in office? Atlanta, no, no. Uh, construction's going fine. I'm sorry, it was. It was going fine until last Friday. What's the problem? Well, first of all, the contractors. The contractors? Yes, the oh, contractors. Oh, 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 forget say. about the contractors. I mean, Living Waters has never experienced the type of success that it has today. Tithe, offering, membership, they all out, right? Yes, Arthur, but we're out spending our income four to one. We've been in the red for two months. We owe Federal One almost $30 million. What? what? Yes. $30 million, person? $30 million. How could that happen? How can I not know that, person? You running everything here. But your former accountant, not only was he stealing from you, but he kept a lot of secrets, the biggest of which was the constantly accruing debt. I spent my whole first week alone just sifting through the bills and invoices. I'm sorry, Calvin. I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. Percy, I, how is this happening? I mean, what, what is our biggest concern here? It's everything, Calvin. It, the 27 new building headquarters, the multi-million dollar pledges to relief aid in Africa and in the Middle East, the Learjet this building. The Learjet? Building. I didn't ask for the, the Learjet, Percy. You all wanted me to have the Learjet. I know, I know. Wait a minute. I know. I know. We insisted. And we still do, Calvin. You have an image to maintain.
Prissy, you're here to tell me what's going on with this church financially. How come I don't know this? Okay, Prissy, what, what about our other interests? Uh, the, the, the music, the DVDs, the, the, the living water, uh, magazine subscriptions, the books? That all belonged to Hubbard, Inc. Percy, this says right here that they owe us a hundred million dollars. Now, how can we still be broke? You tell me that. How can we still be broke, Percy? But you know, Hubbard collapsed. They filed Chapter 11 bankruptcy just last week. We're still waiting on final word from our lawyers, but I think we just might be beating a dead horse. Calvin, what are we going to do for money? We're going to pray. It's going to be okay. Now, Percy, tell me, what do we do here? Look, look, Cal. Now, you have undeniably been important to the image of the people. But, but you just don't know how to run a business. Arthur, please, no, 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 now you no, are no, out no, of no. line. That's the word of God. Money is a sacred trust. What about the TV? What about that? Donations are at an all-time high. We need to address some solutions here. I have these proposals to sell three of our less lucrative headquarters. This is only going to keep the banks happy for so long. Look, Alan, man. Uh, then why don't we just consider some different options? Make some phone calls and, and, and meet together with Mark. Made his worth times before. We'll think of something, Cal. It's not what that count? Minister? Yes. Motivator? Yes. Businessman? Absolutely not. Look, why didn't we see this coming? Well, now, you know Bishop Richards, man. He was a stubborn old son of a gun. Mean, too. Right. But now, he would have never let this happen. Amen, Cal. Amen. 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 I'm in shock. How did this happen? I can't believe Scott, that piece of trash. Baby, leave the judgment of God. I mean, you were doing the exact same thing when you were younger. I have to go pick up Barbara. Why don't you go home and get some rest? No, I'm gonna uh, sit here. I need to think. Yeah, yeah, come on, Bob. Close the door. What's up? Hey, look, I've been going through these papers, and uh, don't look like Living Water's gonna make it through. Hey, but don't worry about it. With the adventures we have on the side, we should be secure. Okay. What about Living Water? I have a friend. A friend? Man, I met last year. Turkish guy. Owns a big. Middle Eastern banking system. He was interested in setting up some development deals. Told me to run it by some people. I never did because everything was okay. But now, Turkish, you say? <laughs> Where'd you meet this guy? Last year. Little East Outreach. Abu Dhabi? Right there. <laughs> I can set up a meeting between him and Calvin with no problem, man. I see. Just wanted to run an idea by you. No, 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 absolutely. <laughs> Ooh, God works in mysterious ways. Yes, he does. Mm. Mm -hmm. See, hey, looks like the only option we got at this point. Exactly. Well, listen, Arthur, I'm about to sell the arrangement. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. <laughs> My man, Tom. I'm the man. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, baby. Hey, congratulations. For what? It's been 12 months. 12 months. <laughs> well, I don't think it has been 12 months. 12 months dry. I'm so proud of you, baby. Thank I'm you. so proud of how strong you are. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Come in. I just want you to know that I appreciate you. I love you. And I couldn't have done it without you. I got you something. What's that? I hope it's okay. Now, baby, you know, um, my AA means I'm not supposed to be around alcohol, but mm. it's okay because I, <laughs> one of the things they teach you is that you need to confront your fears and, um, Keeping this bottle around me. Remind me of how much pain and how much trouble I caused you, and I appreciate you. Calvin, it never has to be open. Oh, it won't be open, but this will help me confront all the foolish and my fears of, you know, drinking. And um, confronting those fears has kept me clean for not 12 months, and that's good. That's good. It's not, I got it. Thank you, baby. You're welcome, honey. I'm sorry, Lord. I just didn't know. That's 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 no excuse, honey. I should know. I should have known. You know, Barbara, the word says that faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Yeah, but it also says faith without works is dead. She gonna walk around here praying and quoting scriptures all day? Or are you gonna make a decision and take action? Hmm? Bishop Calvin Jacobs, Mr. Luther Ayer. Bishop, I'm very glad to meet you. Your reputation precedes you. <laughs> well, from what Tom has to say, son is yours. All good, I hope. <laughs> hey, Calvin, I wish I could stay, but I have a meeting with Deacon Roth, so uh, you two will be okay with that? I think we can manage. All right. A bishop and an ear. Match made in heaven! <laughs> That's an interesting name. Ayer. Ayer to Rome? Not quite, but I had to enough. Forgive me, but I must thank you. Your programs have done wonderful things in my homeland. Living Water is a, a truly great organization. You have fed many hungry mouths in this world, my friend. Well, I didn't do it, Mr. Ayer. Of course, all things to God, yes. All things, Mr. Ayer. So, Bishop, come on, have a seat. I hope you don't mind my being frank, but Mr. Robinson took the liberty of filling me in about your financial problems. Mm -hmm. Tell me, what does God have planned for living water? Fabulous. Okay. Well, I'll see you all on Wednesday night at Bible study. Okay. I'll talk to you then. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Oops. Don't want to spill that. What are they talking about in there? Mm. No, it's gotta be something big. All Tom has been talking about is Luther Air. Come on, 
always been so worried, just thinking about everything's gonna end after everything we've been through. Now, you know we can't think like that. I mean, we've been through worse. Calvin's drinking. The shit Richard's passing. Even food poisoning in South Korea. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Seriously. We'll make it through this. I know. All right? Stop worrying. This was a good idea. Shut up, Calvin. Why? And, and move the glass. Why? Why? Why don't you sleep on my... I ain't got no class. Hey, Calvin, just, just, just shut up and, 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 and put your hearing aid on and, and move the glass. Financial problem is like a cancer. It will only get larger with time. It will eat at your ministry little by little until it strips you of everything. Bishop, I have seen this too many times. I've done some preliminary research and my plan can put living water back on its feet in two months' time. Thirty million dollars in two months. In sixty days, Bishop. If I may. Of course. This is Centrex, an established construction company in the Middle East. Unfortunately, they're not doing so well, like your living water. I don't understand. Well, please, Bishop, I, I am getting ahead of myself. First, let us say that the Living Water Ministry has a desire to build a new state-of-the-art missionary headquarters in Iraq. A rich Iraqi who happens to own such a building wishes to donate it to your worthy cause. Such as yourself, perhaps. However, a Muslim group consider the building that you've just acquired to be holy, allowing infidels to build another shrine on their holy land. <laughs> Well, they will not do. So they wish to purchase it from you for uh, $200 million. $200 million. And, and I don't understand. Yeah, this is just a minute, Bishop. You, you now have the money, but you still wish to build your headquarters, correct? That's right. The Centrex, you pay them $150 million to construct it for you in a more suitable location. They agree to it. But their creditors overwhelm them, and they go belly up. Your government will consider your losses to be the cost of doing business in a hostile country. Mm -hmm. And Centrex goes bankrupt. And they, so what do they have to gain from this? Do the math. You still end up with $50 million of the Muslims' purchase. 30 to cover your debt, of course. And the other 20... <sighs> Tax, licensing, titles. That sounds dishonest to me, Mr. Ayer. Not something Living Water wants to be a part of. You don't have any other options at this point. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Ayer, but I think we must decline the offer. I think we must ask. No, no, it was a pleasure to meet you. Still, uh, if you wish to do business in the future, it's my car. <laughs> so, how'd it go? I declined this offer, Tom. Why? What, Kevin, why? It wasn't right, Tom. That was a gift from God, the answer to our problem. That's why. Uh, and, and quite frankly, I don't understand how you can recommend somebody when you know exactly what he does. I don't know what you're suggesting. All I know is that man was willing to help pull us out of the fire. You know, Kevin, you really need to get off your high horse, or there won't be a horse left to sit on. p.m. 
there is exiting the living water facility. Tammy Miller. Hey. Hey, come on. Uh, it's awful late for you to be out, isn't it? Well, it's actually morning now, sir. Um, I work late nights at the Marcos down the street. Okay. Uh, your driver was there earlier. F Frank? Uh, don't tell him I told you I was here. Um, he, he said you'd be here all night, and I just... <laughs> I just... Tammy, are you okay? It's okay. I just... Tammy. Listen, listen, listen. Come, come sit down. Are you okay? No. What's wrong? I'm sorry to come in and barge in like this. And no, it's okay. I've only been to your mask once, but... Tammy, 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 stop, stop. It's okay. I, I, I've been doing a lot of late night work. Uh, would, you, would you like some water or something? No, 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 I'm fine. I'm, I'm, I'm really fine. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I've just been so alone lately, and... My boyfriend just left me. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm just alone. Tammy, listen to me. You're never alone. God is always with you. I know. And I know you pray with everyone, and you know so much. And I just, I didn't know what else to do. Okay, Tammy, listen to me. Listen to me. Oh, my God. You're just going through a really rough time right now. Look past. I know. We've, 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 I mean, you've got to remember that, okay? No, no, Jerry, stop, stop that. But no, 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 don't do that. That's not right. But you, you, so you were looking at me like that. What was that? No, Tammy, you're mistaken. No, Tammy, you are mistaken. Oh my God, I'm so I'm, sorry. I'm interested in your soul, not your body. Oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. I'm no, so sorry. I'm okay. so sorry. It's okay, Tammy. Listen to me. Oh my God. Listen, listen. I want you to go home. Yes, sir. And I want you to pray and ask God for forgiveness and for guidance. You understand? But it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Okay. I'm so Listen. sorry, Bishop. I'm it's so okay. sorry. Listen to me. Listen to me. Come back tomorrow at a more appropriate time and we can talk, okay? Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, I am Tammy, so sorry. I'm here for you. I'm so sorry. question is, what does air have to do with Calvin Jacobs or Livermore? I don't know, but whatever it is, it ain't good. It's a damn shame. Raven and Margo love the guy. They watch him every weekend. Really? Do you? Hmm? Do uh, you? Now, sit and watch with them, but... Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not big into religion. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm spiritual, but... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I see. <sighs> Wait. Yeah, she's probably just checking in on me. She's been so restless lately. That's understandable. Because of Margo? Yeah, she's been in recession for about a year now. Mm -hmm. She constantly works. Maybe to you and me. But to God, our life is nothing but a vapor. You know, sometimes uh, I wonder how I became the preacher. You always had that charisma.
flair, but I carried him in my heart. You know, uh, somehow, I always end up right back here. No matter where I go, I end up right back here. In the same hood I grew up in. Who do I run into but you? This is where you'll find me. But this is where I belong. This is where my heart is. We grew up out on those rough streets, man. And it was rough. So tell me, where's your heart at? Bring him in. And you have a phone call from Bishop Calvin Jacobs from the U.S. You don't say. Thank you. Bishop. Thank you, my Mr. Ayer. <laughs> Good to talk to you. Yeah, we're just thinking about your proposal. I see. And you've had a change of heart. Yeah. How soon can you have some paperwork at my office? Bishop, I can have them fax to your office by tomorrow morning. Okay. Excellent, Bishop. My people will take care of everything. I am very excited about our new partnership. <laughs> I'm looking forward to working with you, too. Good. I'll talk to you soon. All right, Oscar. Samal. So good to see you again. Sit down. Down to business. You have the pleasure of having an audience with me when I am extremely happy. Oxford tells me that you wish to donate your plot in Iraq to my company. What? I'm sorry, Mr. Hare, I can't. Samal, think of the good you'll be doing. A Christian ministry on your soil. Christian? But Mr. Hare, a Christian ministry on my land? I'm afraid this is not negotiable. Please, Mr. Hare, don't hurt me. I can't. I've got a family to support. Please. <laughs> Don't be so dramatic. <laughs> Just make the donation. And we have no problems. But I can't. I can't. You will uh, donate the land. that's been going on. I think we should stop this private business venture. I know what you're thinking, but that won't help anyone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nothing will help, especially now. Howard! Shut up. Now, Robinson, we've got to stay the course. Now, any sudden changes anywhere, and that little Percy might catch on to what we're doing and how long we've been doing it. The living water doesn't have the money for us to keep this up. Promise. Trust me. Everything's gonna be all right. Yes, sir.
my god. building in Iraq, then poof, just like that, somebody bought it. I don't understand. How could something like that happen so quickly? It's okay, Preston. Calm down. I've got everything under control. I, I, I know you do, but can you please tell me what's going on? We were donated a building. An Islamic group wants to purchase it from us. I'm going to sign the papers. It'll be fine. Let me get this right. We were donated a building worth $200 million? By who? friend of our cause. Let me take care of everything. Let me handle the paperwork. It'll be fine. I'm going to get us out of this debt. Okay, Calvin. I hope you know what you're doing. Just got to believe, Chris. All right. Keep your hand in God's hands now. I will. You know, I have no control over how long cases will last. We'll go there in a couple of weeks. Promised your daughter we'd go to Galveston. Mary, I can barely get her to take her pills in the morning. Last night, she got sick for the first time in a while. I'll have to take her to the doctor tomorrow and... Raven, put her on the phone. Hold on. Baby, come here. Daddy's on the phone for you. Hi, Daddy. Miles, how you doing, sweetie? Feeling okay? Yes, Daddy. Listen, take your medicine every morning. Listen to Mom, okay? She won't let me go to the beach unless you come with us. I'm sorry, baby. Next weekend, okay? I promise. Look, Daddy's got to go. Tell Mom I love her. Hi, Daddy. Why don't you go play some more? I'll call you when dinner's ready, okay? Yes, ma'am. All right. Hey, you okay? Phone records on Jacob's paid off. Thirteen phone calls in the Middle East in the last week. We're in business. Yes, we are. Oh, that's a lot of money, Calvin. Who is this guy? Kiana, stop worrying. I'm going to talk to everybody tomorrow. It's going to work out. Calvin, I don't understand. Yes, you do. We are going to get out of this. Can I have faith? You know, it is a blessing. I feel like God's sending us a message to move forward. I've been thinking after, you know, everything settles down and, well, my parents are anxious to have grandchildren. Uh, kidding. Mm -hmm. So you, um... Yes. Um, it's been three years already and, you know, I think that I'm ready for her. For her? Yes. For Clarice. Has it been done already? Yes, I have done. Baby, listen. If you want to try again, I want to try again. I tell y'all, the Lord works in mysterious ways. Yes, it? he does. Yes, <laughs> My father told me if you had the faith of a mustard seed, you know need to come through for it. So there you have it. <laughs> a blessing. They wanted the land, they wanted. So there you have it. <laughs> I told you to come through for it. Yeah. They wanted it bad enough. There's a surplus of 200 million. Mm -hmm. So we're already talking about building an outreach over there. 
Yes. <laughs> it's a new day for living water. That's <laughs> right. but, but Bishop, why even build a ministry over there? Why not put the 200 million toward more practical things? Person. Don't let me have to pop you upside your head. <laughs> what is more practical than spreading the word all over the world? That's, mm -hmm. right. That's, That's right. right. That's what we do. Mm -hmm. That's right. Regardless of the country. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're right. I guess it's either that or get another plane. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. We don't need a contractor because we have Centrats. And they're already talking about starting building a ministry immediately. And I'll give you more details about that later. Okay. It's late. Mm -hmm. It's Friday. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm tired. Well, <laughs> I say let's get out of here. All right. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. All right. Good job. As happy as we all are, I think we all need to sit down and go over the details on all Person, this. Person, listen. I mean, Calvin is taking care of all of that, okay? Just realize what this means for the church. Say amen. Understood? Amen, brother. Amen. Let's get out of here. Amen. <laughs> Face death like a man. He's no. Coming, coming, one second. Hello. Hey, Larry. We've got something. We got action. You got something? I've got three days vacation. I know, Larry, but Air's back. He's in New Orleans right now. Everybody's vacation just ended. Don't tell me this. Teaching my daughter to ride a bike. Hey, I'm sorry. Listen, I know how important she is to you, Larry. Okay, believe me, I know. But it's been quiet for weeks, okay? And now Air is in New Orleans right now as we speak. The CIA's calling me every hour on the hour for updates, 
and they're reporting directly to the vice president. And every letter of the alphabet's gonna be here in a few minutes, Larry, for God's sake. Damn it, Hughes. Whatever Luther Ayer's pulling with Calvin Jacobs is coming to a head. Damn it, Hewitt. I'll call you back. Larry, Dr. Fletcher just called. It's back, Larry. It's back. Something big is happening in New Orleans, and I've got to stop it. You can't leave us now. I have to. This man is extremely dangerous. What about me? What about your daughter, Larry? Our little girl? Hey. I'm so happy everything came together with that. I was so afraid we weren't going to have it this year. But it all came together, right? Yeah, but, you know, I still don't understand how you managed to get that business deal. It's God. Yeah. You said um, Tom's friend helped out, right? Luther Air? No, no, what, what's with all the questions? I know what I'm doing. I, I didn't say you didn't. Put some faith in me. so hard to make things right. I just don't want it to fall apart again. It's not. Not with you at the helm of it. You know what? You have your conference today. Take care of that. And then afterwards, maybe you need a little break. I like the breaks. Listen, I uh, call Frank and tell him I want you to ride this morning. Okay. It's the dinner, isn't it? Yeah. It's just breakfast. Right. Unfortunately, she's a little tired at the moment. Mr. Ayer, why am I asking? I'm taking you to your conference, of course. My conference? How do you know about my conference? <laughs> Honestly, Calvin, <laughs> you don't exactly keep a low profile, you know? I read it in the paper. <laughs> Mr. Ayer, no disrespect, but it's Mr. Jacobs' ambition. <laughs> Calvin, you're a riot. Fifty million dollars later, I think we're on a first name basis, huh? <laughs> I believe the saying goes, God will take care of his flocks. Yes? Yes, and um, no disrespect, Mr. Ayer. I mean, 
appreciate your past assistance, but I don't need your advice on this anymore. Oh, you do. Anyway, as I was saying, God will take care of everything. Give them love, happiness, money, whatever they want. All they have to do is give more tithes, yes? Well, not exactly, Mr. Dan. That's not how it works. I mean, giving to the church, giving money to the church is a, is a blessed action. But it doesn't buy you favor with God. No, 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 there's no price on God, of course. But if a person increases their tithe, they become more prone to receive the blessing. No, no. Hear me out. You know, here what I wanted to let you be the first to know that this is my final job after this assignment. It's over. I understand. It's been tough. It's been tough. Congratulations. It's smart, convenient, and Mandy even likes to come. The members of Living Water would be required to have one. Using them in an online account, they will uh, pay their tithes using the car. We're talking an increase in the hundred millions in the first year. No disrespect. Can you let me out of the car? If a family does not comply, Living Water will ban them from the ministry and destroy their credit report. Now they won't get that far in prison. You'll warn them that if they don't donate, they'll be beset by plagues and so forth. Enough to get across the idea of eternal damnation, etc. Et Our congregation is not interested in anything like that. Your congregation. <laughs> I thought it was God's. Hmm. I know your past, Bishop. I've been watching you for some time. Listen, we're business partners now. It's only money, Kevin. Money for your, your ministry to help people. And money for me. That's all it is. Don't ever talk to me again. Yeah, stop the car, Oxford. Oh, well, Calvin. Calvin, you're making a very big mistake. Time. Where were you? I took a wrong turn. You're almost on. Are you ready? you got boxes of rings that Calvin gets you. Yeah, you know Calvin. He is always the thrifty one. Mm -hmm. You know what, girl? I'm gonna take that drink. Okay. Guys, Tom. I don't know. Luther Air visited me this morning. What? Tom, why did you bring him to me, Tom? You know what he wants me to do? What? What are you talking about? What have you done to my church? Hey, Arthur, settle down. What is going on? Mr. Jacobs, Agent Larry Dublin. How do you do, sir? This is Agent Hewitt. What do you want? I want to speak to you and Mr. Robinson. Mr. Rawls here has been kind enough to uh, give up some detail on recent months. We'll be at CC's down the street in 20 minutes. Both of you should be there. Thank you for your time, Mr. Rawls. 20 minutes, gentlemen. 
What, what do they want? Curse you both. You got us up in this thing real deep. Glad you could make it, sir. Please have a seat. I'm sorry, but can you guys tell me what this is all about? Let me get you a cup of coffee while we're waiting. Luther Ayer. Not quite. Luther Ayer is a man born in 13 countries. Aside from his gun running trade and his known connection to terrorist groups, he's also the top of a world class money laundering ring. We even suspect that he's in part of a plot to finance nuclear weapons for terrorist use. What? His business is bloodshed, Jack. This is insane, Captain. He's a businessman. He may be a little intense, but he is not. Mr. Jacobs. A few months ago, your church was bankrupt. Where did you get the money from to get out of the fire? The Lord provided for us. Sir, we know you've been in contact with him. We know you saw him today. Now what we need to know is everything. Everything Wait, like what? Rawls has volunteered to testify. That's enough to bury a little more. But we don't want that. We have a solid case on air. We just want your help. I help. I mean, we, we can't help. I'm a terrorist. Yes, yes, you, yes, you can. You can help. Yes. Release all of your files to us without warrants. No warrants, no public record, nothing to ruin your name, nothing to hurt the church. Cooperate with us, Bishop. And testify against him. And we can leave living water completely out of testify. Testifying. I mean, even with that, I'll be ruined. I will never be able to do what I do. Sir, are you listening to me? We have you two together. We have pictures. We have your phone records. And we have Rawls. Now, we can get a warrant for your financial records like that, sir. Helping to finance a nuclear weapon? We could put you away for life. Well, what is this? Is this some kind of a joke? We can end this. Just testify. Touch me whenever. Just don't take too long. I'm about to close this case in. For your sake, I don't want you to be involved. Let's go. You have to understand that. I'm, I'm sorry, man. Sorry is not good enough. What? Hey, baby. Hey, baby. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm on my way to the office. I'll call you a little is later. Is okay with you? I'll call you later. Drop me off in the This is Tom. I need to talk to you. I can't do this anymore. Crazy? We've been doing this for years. I can't believe I let it go on for this long. We're disgusting, man. 
I'm done. Hey, what are you doing here? Hey, Percy Wade. The missing funds? It was you? Who were you talking to? Why? Jesus, why? You'll never get away with it! <sighs> Captain, it wasn't my fault. I do. I testify. Records anything. Just call me when you get this message. Having a party, Calvin? Remember me? Yeah. How did you get in here? This is my world, Bishop. Don't you ever forget that. Dublin. You are? I am Fiona, Calvin's wife. Has he been drinking? Yes, I'm afraid so. He's um, sleeping it off. Oh, God. Calvin. Calvin. <laughs> Calvin, wake up. Oh, Fiona. Fiona, man, I'm sorry. Fiona, Luther Air. <laughs> hey, I'm ruining it for everybody. Your bottle. Okay, Calvin. We're only flesh and blood. What happened with that Tanner girl? Oh, Tanner. She came in here. And she just came barging in. And I've never seen nothing like it. It's like, it's like she was possessed, you know? Possessed? Possessed. What? We checked state records. There's no listing for Tammy Miller. Oh, that can't be. That can't. There's no record. But you saw her. You Calvin, saw her. I don't know what I saw. It was dark. It was only for a second. Look, I don't know what this has to do with Luther Air, but Calvin, I am your wife. You should have told me that something was going on. They were using that London money to get into the tariff. I'm sorry, baby. I should have told you that I was just too ashamed. I'm sorry, baby. I made a mistake. You ready to cooperate now? Robinson has agreed to. You will? Yes, he has. Oh, Calvin, it's Barbara. Calvin, it's Barbara! Oh. Ask me if I can talk to Tom. Barbara, can you talk to Tom? No. Calvin, when's the last time you saw Tom? He brought me here last night. I, I, I assume he went not not I didn't even know. Okay. All right. I'm sure he's just in his office. We'll call, I'll call you if I see him. Okay, bye. Calvin, Barbara said Tom didn't come home last night. Listen, let's go down to my office. We'll work out the state. Let's go.
as well. Bishop, he knows where you live. We need to act quickly. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. best friend in the world. Then help us, Bishop. <clears throat> I feel like this whole thing is my fault. Like, <sighs> can, I, can I just have a, a, a second to just get my head out of this? Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Oh, He's got to do this. He can do it without it. No. Larry, we need eyewitness testimony from a trusted figure. You okay? Yeah. Yeah. What do you say? I'm sorry, Tom. Tom was my best friend in the world. Listen, I don't... Whatever it is, I mean, this Good. is the right. thing on the All right. We'll put you and the other deacons in protective custody. We're all the clock secure. If you need me out of the city, put you in a hotel. No, no, no. Listen, I have my my church revival in two days. It, it, it's the cornerstone of my congregation. I, I'm begging you, I, I gotta be there. In two days, Bishop, absolutely not. It's too risky. But we have protection. Oh. Just please let me do this. We'll, we'll, we'll talk over. We'll talk it over. Even though he was God, he was a man like us. I guess that means we all need a good cry once in a while. You just don't know the terrible things I've done. <laughs> Let he who is without sin cast the first stone. I really blew it this time. He gave it all to me and I blew it. You know, I've been sitting in this church for three long years, thinking I blew it. You know what it's like to put in work on the streets? The anger takes hold of you. This one guy owes me a thousand dollars. You got Bill Gates sitting on 56 billion. One thousand dollars. I ran down on him in broad daylight. But you know, Bullets don't have any names. I ended up hitting his little sister, 17 years old, on her way to college. I did 10 years for that. But I still see her face as plain as day, every day. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Sorry? Don't be sorry for me. God has the power to forgive. 
He wiped my slate clean a long time ago. You should only be sorry. You only blew it when you decided to give up. Respect the power of the Lord. Once you understand that, you'll be all right. Do you have an idea of who may be responsible for your husband's murder? Really? Who? Associates of Luther Hare. Luther? But Tom told me that that man would fix everything. We've had him under surveillance for quite some time, even before his contact with Living Water. But wait a minute. So you. You watched them kill my husband? Mrs. Roberts. Let me explain. Explain? You killed my husband. Do you know that? You killed my husband. Do you know how they think you killed my husband? No, they killed my husband. No. I can't come right now, Raven. I don't know what to do. She keeps asking for it. We just can't take this anymore. I'm sorry, I, I can't. It, it'll be over with by tomorrow, I feel it. Tomorrow? Tomorrow? 
tomorrow. What if Marco doesn't have it till tomorrow? Please, honey. Let me talk to Marco. Miles, look, I'm going to be there as soon as I can, okay? Okay, Daddy. Don't worry about me. I love you. I love you, too. More than anything. Okay, Milesy? Hi, Daddy. Mrs. Robinson. Mrs. Robinson. Mrs. Jacobs will make sure you're not coming today. Mrs. Robinson, do you hear me? Percy's on us, and he's gonna tell Calvin. Give me that. I can't believe you. Shut up, Rawls.
Hey, hey, Diona. Kevin. Hey, how you doing, man? You all right? As nervous as I've been. Oh, boy, you be all right. You've done this a thousand times. <laughs> I'll just stop by to see if you was all right. Listen, I got to go. I'm introducing the mayor today. Oh, that's great. That's yeah, great. yeah, yeah. Hey, good luck, Cal. Thank all you. All right. I'll talk to you later. All right. All right. Die, you killed him. Hopefully, it uh, impressed you as to how seriously I take our business. You will implement the type. Where's my wife? Answer your phone, sir. It's not polite to hang up the phone, Calvin. Where's she going? She's fine, Calvin. She's on her way to see me. I recommend you do the same. Where? The roof. And suffice it to say, if you tell any of the other agents, she's dead. Take me to the roof. I got it. Another step. Jan Abadou is a born killer. Five years at war in Sudan. <laughs> at 12 years old, he's already killed over 100 men. <laughs> and raped 200 women. He will destroy her <laughs> if I give him the word. What 
I want. You will tell the congregation tonight. Fine, I'll tell them. And you can have the money. Please don't hurt my wife. Please. So weak. To betray God. For a woman. <laughs> but unfortunately for you, this is not about the money. smarter than this when you were a kid. Think about it. Your father was a great man, but he didn't fit into our life. Right? You and me, we always had a plan. Oh, don't get all weepy on me now. If he wouldn't have died, who knows what you and your dear friend Tom would have become. Common thugs. Considered a public service. Look how far you brought living water. And we're going to take it so much further. Or should I say, I am going to. You overdosed on heroin. But you succeeded by a man with a new vision for living water. A new plan for the world. Why? So many questions. Who knows the answers? <laughs> Abudu. Find this evil spirit. We got the test results. Everything's gonna be okay. Really? Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Did you hear, baby? Everything is good. You're gonna be just so fine. Good. How are you doing? Just fine. You look good. Wonderful. <laughs> Don't you look so great? Good. Thank you so much.
God, in his grace, gives us a fresh 24 every day. Another chance to make it right. You speak the truth, my man. The truth only means something if the person who is listening understands it. You've been a good friend. I thank you. You've been a really good friend. Only God is good. Only God. Say the Lord don't put more in you than he can handle. I've seen some dark days. You lost prayers. The kind words brought us forth to church. And now you have overcome. The darkest hour. The thing that brought me through is continually praising his name. I'm not going to take up too much of your time, but in closing, I, I just want you all to be reminded of the Apostle Paul. Paul once called Saul a cruel man, a man who persecuted Christians, but on the road to Damascus, he was blinded by great light. And, and, and when they say great in the Bible, it's, it's not a regular light. It's great light. As he squinted and he, he, he dealt with the light in his eyes, he heard the voice of God. He fell from his horse and he dropped to his knees and all. And I, too, have had to fall from my own horse. I had to fall to be reminded of God's power. What should it profit a man to gain the world? Excuse me, gentlemen. My name is Agent Smith. This is Agent Mayer. We've got a few questions for you, so if you'll please step this way, I'd greatly appreciate it. What is this about? Please. We have a few questions for you. Oh, thank God for the bishop. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. 